Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can add an email signature in Microsoft Outlook. It's a really easy and simple thing to do and you can set and forget it because once it's there, it's gonna be in all your emails, whether you're starting a new email or you're replying to an existing email that's come through. So let's jump on the computer and go through these steps. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Microsoft Outlook and in the top left-hand corner, select on File and scroll all the way down to where it says Options, which is the second last option from the bottom. Here a dialog box is gonna open up and at the top here it says general. We're gonna select on the second option from the top that says mail and scroll down to where it says signatures. So we can see it says compose mail, ABC and the third option is create or modify a signature for messages. We're simply gonna select on the signature option and this is gonna open up another dialog box. From here you actually have a drop down menu of email account. So if you have multiple emails on your Microsoft Outlook, you can actually choose which signature you want to apply to which account. For this example, we only have one account on here. So I'm gonna select my Aldo James tech tips at outlook.com and we're gonna select on new signature. Just under email account on the right hand side, it says new. We're gonna open up a new signature and the first thing it's gonna ask for is a name so we can quickly identify it and I'm gonna call it YouTube signature. From here, we can go down into the editing pane and start editing and typing in what our signature looks like. Above here, you have a few options of choosing, say, the different font that you want your signature to be in, the size of your signature, and of course, using bold italics or underlines and the page alignment, whether you want it center to the left, the center, or to the right-hand side. If you want to add a if you want to add a photo to your signature as well, you can actually select on the photo icon, which is the second last on the right hand side, which is the little icon of the photo. You can open this up and this is going to allow you to import any photo onto your, into your signature. So I could, for example, grab this photo of that I use on my desktop. I could insert it and that could be part of my signature as well. But I don't want to use that. I'm going to make this really simple. So I'm just going to delete that out. So my signature is going to have a couple of things here. It's going to, of course, have my name, my title, my email address, so people can easily copy and paste or select my email address if they need it, and maybe even my phone number. Cool. So we have a basic signature here, and you can be happy with this, and you can simply select on Save. And then down the bottom, you can actually choose when to use this signature. You can have it set for just new messages. So this is whenever you create a brand new message, but I also recommend selecting on the option that says reply and forwards and having it turned on there as well. So that, that means whenever you create a new message or you reply to a message that's come through, your signature is always gonna be there. So if you're happy with this, you can hit okay. And then you can just open up a brand new message and your signature is gonna be automatically populated there. So this is the basics of adding a signature to Microsoft Outlook. But what we're gonna do now is edit it just a little bit so it stands out a little bit more. So we're gonna close out of here. We're not gonna save the changes. We're gonna go back into file, down the bottom to our options, and then to mail and over to our create or modify signature. And we're gonna start modifying the signature. So we're gonna open this up again, and then we're gonna start editing this. So maybe we want our name to stand out in bold and we want it a little bit bigger. Maybe we want our title to be italicized so it stands out. And then maybe even where it says E, we're gonna bold that, and P, we're gonna bold that, just so it stands out that little bit more and it looks a little bit more professional. So I'm simply gonna go save, hit OK, OK one more time, and create a brand new email. And you can see here our signature stands out just that little bit more. And there you have it, it is that easy to create a signature in Microsoft Outlook. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.